this tutorial I'm going to look at um, how we manage links between files, so assembly and part files. So if I, I've taken a copy of this um, assembly here and if I open it up with Design Manager um, at first glance it looks fine but if I do an expand all we can see that we've missed off one of the parts and um, we need to fix it up. So. I'm just going to click on this part here. Um, so the file name's um, ZTI FTNT 15 millimeters. So if I go right mouse click and replace that, and we can specify um, where we're going to look. So if we go into Solid Age 2019 and I did a search for um, FTNT. Um, it comes up with a list of various options here. So this um, seems to be the one that we're after. So I can click on there and go open. And that does a replace on all the missing files that it's um, got. Notice it's also saying that we are going to have to update the assembly or sub assembly in this case. And um, that will then point it to the folder that it found it in. And also I've noticed that our um, tubing in the frame environment is still linked to the um, default frames location. So I'm going to um, select this one and do a um, save as. And you'll see that we have the same file name and same folder. So I can right mouse click and say edit path. And we can use our browser up here to sort of search for the folder that we want to put it in and say OK. So that's going to put it into the same folder as the rest of the assembly. So once we've done that, um, we can do a perform actions, expand all, and um, back to this one here. This is still looking in the other um, folder. So again, I can do a save as and edit path. And again, we'll put that into the same folder that we're working with now. So if we go OK on that and perform actions, you can see that we now have um, all these files in the same folder. So this is just a quick and easy way of, of going in and fixing up broken links. And um, yeah, just making sure that the copied assemblies are working correctly.